So here we are, the MMA leader back in London, England. It's amazing to think back to UFC 75 when the UFC first came to the UK. Now you're talking about 25 shows in the United Kingdom, but few markets as rabid about mixed martial arts as London. And the moment you saw guys like Michael Bisping start to fight in the UFC, he seemed as though he was alone. Now there are many, a number of English fighters who dream of headlining this arena. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy that's exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he heard it bad with a jab. Big leg kick lands. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes. Chop. That one stuck in. Nice strike. right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. So he lands another hook there. He's falling in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Big kick lands. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in that. Blocks the shot. Nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Now he touches him with the left. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Head kick land. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Straight punch land. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And they separate. Oh, spinning back fist. 
look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses with the jab there. Oh. Oh. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. Big power shot there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches. More of the same. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands often. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with the strike, he fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact. impact. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Straight right, he misses. Good stick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. It's such a fast leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keeping busy, being very active. Magomedov shot there is blocked. Ooh, what a punch. The right hook to the body. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? There. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Nice punch, man. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go. Dig and kick. Magomedov's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Liver kick. Loads up.
up on the right hand and lands. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch, landing with so much power. Oh, found the hole for that left hand. Wow! And we'll get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Yeah, oh. a little bit. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Romanov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, that's a good DC. He massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate. When he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Ooh, big shot lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice punch by Nervago Medov. Huge block there. And he landed the right hand there. Right punches there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yep, right hand over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more. Oh! He's in trouble. He's going oh. bad. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well. Oh. Back to the feet. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot 